I'm Sean Worthington with CloudCoin, and today I'm going to show you how to convert old cloud coins to the new version. And right now it's June 20th, 2022, and we're still in beta. So the only reason why you'd want to do this is if you're a beta tester or you want to sell coins on the BitMart exchange. So there's some things that we want to do here to convert our coins. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our CloudCoin wallet is upgraded. And we are going to need to use the CloudCoin wallet. You can't do this on an Android or an iPhone application. And you want to make sure that it's 4.0.26. So this one is the wrong one. I've got to go to the cloudcoinconsortium.com and I've got to upgrade this wallet software. Okay, I'll go ahead and download that. Once I've downloaded, I'm going to go to my download folder and just double click on it. It will go through an installation procedure. And since I already have the CloudCoin wallet installed, it'll ask me if I want to modify, repair, or remove. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. And the reason is, is that it will not remove any of my files. It'll get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Okay, then I'll just install it again, double click it. This time it will not ask me to remove or modify. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. Now, if you're looking at this from the future, it probably has a newer version and you probably wanna be looking at a different video anyways, a newer video. But now I've got 4.0.26, this is the newest version. And I've got a number of wallets here. I've got a wallet called Encrypted and I've got a General Fund and an Unencrypted. And the first thing that we want to do is to move any coins that are in an encrypted folder to a wallet that is unencrypted. You might have to create a new local wallet by adding a wallet to get this type of a wallet. I can tell that this wallet is encrypted because it's got a padlock here and I can see that it's also recoverable by email because it's got this little email symbol here. But we wanna get rid of that and put it into a wallet that is unencrypted and has no email recovery. I'm gonna to go to transfer send. I'll put in my password. Transfer to unencrypted. 100% of it. Okay, so those have been moved over. The next thing I want to do is I want to check all of my coins to make sure that they're in good health. And I'm going to click on a wallet and I'm going to go to health check. Now, if your coins have been sitting around for a while, what will happen is that your coins will be fracked at least on rate 11, rate of one, and usually rate of 21. And that's because those rates lost all their data and they need to be synchronized with the rest of the rate to be perfect. And we want these coins as perfect as we can get them before we upgrade. Okay, I've checked this wallet and everything's fine. However, if it wasn't fine, I would want to go up here and click on fix fracked. I want to check all the wallets that I'm going to be upgrading the coins for. So I want to fix fract on these as well. And it looks like everything is fine. Now we're going to take the coins from the legacy wallet and convert them into the new coins with the coin manager. Here I've got the legacy wallet. I'm going to withdraw some coins so that I can import those coins into the new coin manager program. When I unload these, I'm gonna withdraw 100,000 here, but there's a maximum of 300,000 coins that we can convert at one time. So you don't wanna withdraw more than 300,000. Those files are now in my download folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the cloudcoinconsortium.com website and go to the use page. And here I will find the beta coin manager. If we click on that, it'll begin to download. It might warn you, it might say, hey, this is dangerous. Don't worry about it. This is a beta program and it doesn't have the correct digital signatures on it yet, but it's still good. Now note that this beta is only here for Windows computers. 
So we'll have the Macintosh version out in the next couple weeks and also a Linux version out in the next couple weeks. And we should also have a console version for those of you that would like to run the program off of your USB drive without actually having to install it on your computer. When I install this, I just double click on it. It gives me a warning. I'll have to go more information and then say run anyways. It's then going to uh, give me a pop up and I'll be asked to go ahead and finish and then I'll, it will be installed and I should be able to go and open up the Queen Manager here. The Queen Manager is going to contact the RADA to see if it's there and if it is you'll have a default wallet. This is a folder on your hard drive that your new coins can be kept in. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our coins into our new local wallet. So I've got the local wallet here chosen. I'm going to change the name of that by going to Wallet Functions, Rename Wallet. I'm going to call it Sean's Wallet instead of default. So now I can go to New Transaction, Import. And I'm going to go and look for my file that is in my downloads folder. That's the stack file I just created. And it's warning me that my old coins are going to be exchanged for new coins at the rate of one new coin for every 85.125 legacy coins. And keep in mind that just because the number of coins have changed, your slice of the pie has not changed. I should say your percentage of the pie has not changed. It's just like taking 85 slices and combining them together so that you've got one bigger slice. And so we're doing this to, so that the price is more like a dollar or a euro, trying to get the value up. And this will be the last time that we do this. You want to enter in your email because this will allow your um, new coins to be sent to that email as well so that if something goes wrong in the conversion you'll still be able to get them there. Okay I'll go ahead and import selected. This process of converting can be lengthy. This is like the slowest part of a new cloud coin is just converting them over. All right so that we can see we have 100,000 old coins and they turned into 1,174 new coins. That's very good. Now in the next video we'll talk about how to send coins to BitMart if you'd like to sell them.